I want to go ahead and prep the tracks as much as I can now. So E6 is the bottom track. So the shorter track is the bottom track. That makes sense actually. And we can touch these up with paint after they're unassembled. Trying not to gouge into it. it. Looks like it goes this way with the female end going in this direction. We'll go ahead and take them all off now and place them on the table to make the rest of the process faster. Now I also heard that there's a lot of spare tracks. So the four track ones, there's four of them. They are all labeled E7. shows one E11 in between each of these and these are all E11s. And then we have the curved track you'll see for 5B which is made up of this is showing 6 plus the E11. So 24. So all of these <laughs> Can you imagine having to paint all of these by hand? Plus four. Minimum. Twenty-four. We probably need more. It's just time to put the tracks together. <laughs> I mean, do these things, I'm going to have to see if, they, I, I don't think they hook together. I think they have to be glued together. Let's take a look. I mean, if they can be hooked together, that then this will be easy peasy. But if they've got to be glued together, ooh. It looks like they have to be glued, but because of the paint, it looks like they're, it's a little tighter with the paint. So maybe my painting this helps because now there's less space between the tracks when you're putting them together. All right, so we start with the bottom, which is E6, which is this piece here. Now, I, I've watched a couple videos, but you know what? I think I'm just going to have to do this my way. <laughs> because I don't think there is a right way. Well, I mean, there's a right way, but I've seen so many different ways that people put these together. So, you know, this has obviously got to turn up a little bit because this meets this piece which goes up to that wheel. The question that I have, and that's why I was wondering if I could put them on like, put them on as you're doing it. So you put this here and you put this here. This one goes there. And then this one goes to that one. <laughs> this is not a joke. So like it goes in there. This goes there. And then somehow these guys go up here. Now there's the other mistake I made. I should not have glued these together because these teeth fit those tracks and now it doesn't move. Wow. But I still think that these tracks, because of their length, they're, it's a fixed length, should go to the middle of each wheel. And then from there, I'm thinking we glue these tracks to the bottom. Then we put this piece in, and then we put these pieces in. Same over here. Why am I missing two wheels? 
<laughs> did we miss two wheels? Wow, we did somewhere. Where were they at? Oh, I bet that C1 and C20. <laughs> I bet that C1 and C21. And I saw wheels here the other day, and I'm like, where did those go? Speaking about not following directions correctly, Walter Dog. There they are, these two. <laughs> okay. I'm thinking, oh, maybe we're, maybe we put spare wheels on the tank or something. That's what it is. No. You just missed a step. So I take back what I said about Mighty Jingles. Anybody can miss a step. Even Waller Dog. That looks like it only goes one way. Looks kind of hokey, but this one's got to go there, and this one's got to go there. Yeah. All right, first we need to file. I make sure one hole's lined up first. And then put the other one in. So the question still remains, how the hell are we gonna do these tracks? Don't know Les. This is a really good question. It's like one link goes between this set of four, like that. It's like they don't even hold well. I mean, it, it's gonna make it for angling or whatever, but how the heck, like that. But once it's dry, it's set. It's not going to be able to be moved. And then they want me to do the same thing over here. Right? Like that. See, but we need that wheel on. This is, look at this. This is, I mean, this is like wobbly, wobbly loose. Maybe we'll leave it like that. Maybe that'll uh, give us some play. I'm putting these tracks in. Jeez, Louise, I don't know. What to do. I guess we could put some glue on each of those joints and then on the tops of the wheels. Well, let's give it a shot. And as it falls down. Now, I was looking at a video today. Looks like some they've got a slower drying glue that they that can be used as well which I don't have. It's a thicker stuff that uh, could be used. And I don't know how well this is going to stick with the paint covering the plastic either. Oh, they just fall right off. Son of a... I don't know about this, folks. Fine. I'm not fighting it anymore. Going back to my original plan, which was to glue the track equidistant and build around it. Yep, that's what we're doing. And if that's the case, we must do both sides. We're gonna fail, we're gonna fail big. The bottom of the tracks are kind of glued on. I say that kind of because the wheels aren't even. And since these aren't flexible tracks, some of them have stuck and some of them have not. So what I've decided to do while thinking about this at great length, oh, well, that one's still glued together, is uh, I'm gonna form fit these, because we know there's a single track and then a set of four tracks that go next. The plan then is, since we've got this single track that's still glued to this little piece. <laughs> yeah, I know, we don't have autofocus going. Oh, that's not good. Oh boy. Good. It's actually not solid, but we need to go from this track needs to go to here. Now the problem we said is don't glue these 
uh, to the hull until after the tracks are in because now the problem I have is I have to fit the track with this and our distance is incorrect. Our spacing is wrong. So a big dope! And I don't think I can turn it without breaking it. 